G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Now I've just taken my resin's temperature and it is 35 degrees and climbing. I was watching Survivor and I kind of forgot about it. So get it in there real quick, hey? So following on from my previous geode tray that I did with a 3D bloom, um, it had a gold crushed glass center. This one I'm thinking I might turn into a tray. The last one was a bowl. And I've got some cute little, I don't know if you can see them sitting there on my, my left, a little knife and fork. I may use that. Just going to clean off the tip of my little temperature thermometer, I should say, my little thermometer. Um, so yeah, um, I, may use, I may use these. Aren't they cute? So, yeah, I don't want to put gold um, on them. And I've just got resin on it from my gloves. Move it over there. So, let's just get this in. Get in there. Okay. Um, I kept 40 grams this time. <laughs> I shall do that later. So, anyway, as I'm saying, oh, I'm all, I'm all in a tears now because... Because... Um, I'm behind. Anyway, <gasps> big breath, calm down. Let's do this. Let's do this. So, um, like I said, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna use gold in the center. I'm just gonna use these little colorful crushed rock pieces. Just a few in the middle. I don't like too many. Maybe a little bit further out. I think my last ones weren't exactly in line. Oops, now I'm putting too many in. I think my last ones, when I looked at it this way, they were a bit off off centered. So I'm going to try and see if I can get them more centered this time. And I'm going to poke them in. So I'm using the Let's Resin 4 Hour Fast Cure Resin. I really like it for my 3D blooms. It's a nice thick resin already. Don't have to wait for it to thicken up. I wait till it gets to 35, like I said, this one's 35. Probably a little bit higher than 35, but hopefully it'll still be okay if I get my get my act together and get a wriggle on and pour quickly. Follow the shape of the mold as best as possible. I'm just gonna stand over here and have a look at it. Yep, I think I think we're good. I think we're good. Now I've made a few gaps. I don't really want to be able to see through. I'm going to put a bit more on because I don't really want to see through it, but I don't want them to be too, too heavy. Okay, let's poke these in. It's been a while since I've done 3D blooms. I'm enjoying it because I had a, a bit of a, a time there where I was doing the, the fairy flowers and the laramars and the dragon flowers and I still will do some, but I'm going to move on to a few other things. Hopefully, I don't know whether you guys have got sick of them or not. Right. Let's just give this a quick little torch and then I can drop my colours. It's a bit of glitter. Alright, so the last one, the last pink I used was um, fuchsia. Um, it ended up a little bit purple for my liking. So I'm going with, um, this, this is yellow, but I'm going with a different pink this time. This one's honey. It's an octopus um, alcohol ink. Make sure that I've got enough yellow because, like I said in the last video, your colours move from the outside in. So you need to make sure that you've got enough. Oh gosh, it's leaking. Why is it always leaking? I'll clean you up later. So this time I'm going with hot pink, you guys. Hot pink. And open it over on the side because it gets all these little dried scabby bits that fall off into your resin. So make sure you do it away. You're opening them up away from your resin. So I've kept 40 grams this time for my white. Last time I didn't have enough, I only had 30. I've got 40 this time, hopefully it'll be enough. All right, now same blue, sapphire blue. Around we go with the sapphire blue. Comes out nice and easily. The octopus fluid inks, I will link their website for you. 
as well if anybody wants them that'll do I think that'll do color wise that will do um, do I want to put any just put a couple of yellows just here and there just sort of maybe we'll get a bit of purple maybe we'll get like a little bit of um, green just in a few areas I, I like it I like it and it'll kind of pick up the the greens in my my stones there all right so 40 grams of resin we're going four drops of bloom it's getting hot I hope it's gonna work up I've been wasted my time one two three four making my drops ever so slightly bigger this time all right I'm gonna get this in hopefully it'll still work I was saying to myself now somewhere between 33 degrees and 35 degrees I need to come out and decant <laughs> so what do I do I wait till it's like 36 hopefully it'll still be all right hopefully now this time I'm not doing the curly whirlies like I did on the last one I'm just going to follow the shape of the mold this is my geode tray the regular size one I do have an extra large one but this is the regular one okay if you want it I will link it down below for you makes a great platter it's a nice size you don't have to make up too much resin uh, I used for this one I used a little bit more than I did on the last one only because I wanted to add a bit more to my white I need about two ounces or so I did 200 grams of A and 180 grams of B as usual I do that by weight because A is heavier than B you don't have to you could go um, 200 mils of A and 200 mils of B oh my gosh that's getting quite warm oh that's gonna wriggle on that's gonna wriggle on okay so we'll just snip the end off that like so all right here we go I'm gonna start around here actually it probably wasn't a good way to no, it's okay. I couldn't see what I was doing. My hand was in the way up there. Now, when you're doing this, try and make your lines, your piping the same size. Oops, I can't see where I'm going over there. Just that area there because my hand's in the way. I can't see where I'm going. But try and go the same speed. Otherwise, your lines, if you go too fast, your lines will kind of pull and go thinner in some areas. There we go. I can't see where I'm going on that bit. Oh, never mind. So, yeah, just um, going through. I'm probably just going to go into circles now. I need to squeeze that back down again. Probably just go into like a little oval type shape now. Like so. Now why is it I've got more white left over? And I didn't have enough last time. 10 grams doesn't make that much difference. Surely to goodness. Surely to goodness. Does it? Oh, I don't know. Why have I got some left over now? Now I'm confused. Now I'm just confused. Let's do another one in between here. bit of a gap there and a little bit of a gap there you guys join up I want to use it all I made it all <laughs> I want to use it all I don't know why I haven't got I've got more left over on this one I don't know why Maybe I went closer to the center with it. I'm not sure. Now, push it all out. Try and just close this up. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. All right. <laughs> Pushed out with my fingernails. Okay. Done. Look at that. Done, done, done. Right. 
Hopefully that's not too much now. Oh gosh. Resin's tricky, isn't it? I'm just cleaning off my sticks. All right, now what I want to do is I want to go through, actually I'll just quick torch. Quick little torch. I hope it's going to close up, you guys. I hope I haven't left it too long. There's a bubble there. See, sometimes if you, you decant it, say, 33 degrees, and then you can take your time a little bit more. But see, once you once you decant, um, it really slows the heating or the curing time down, or the temperature. As soon as you decant, it cools off. So once it's when it's still in its cup and it's quite deep, um, you know, it, it goes off much faster. Now, I saw a blob somewhere. I just want to smooth out my ends. If I've got a blob anywhere, there's one. I just want to smooth you out. Any more? Can anybody see any? Okay, so um, I'm just going to do the same as I did with the last one, where there's a wherever there's a little what do you call that? And then you call this. This is a dip. What's this? Anyway, I'm just going to get on with it. That. That. I'm just going to go right into the middle. There. There. I'm just following the shape of my mold. I'll clean it every time just so that I'm not getting a weird colour on the edge. Back here, into the middle. Now this one over here is quite wide, so I'll do two there. I'll come back to it. Hopefully these colours, I'll be happy with the colours. I just wasn't that happy with the colours on the last one. Look how thick it is already, you guys. Look, it's, it's like, it's gelling. So It's still moving. Alright, so now I've got this space here. So I think I'm just going to do two there. Because it's not huge. And I want them all to be roughly the same size. Okay, so in the middle, let's let's follow the shape and just do a little bit of a, let's do this. And just cover that, just so it's all kind of the same colour in there. How's that? Not really going to see it, I don't think, but just so that it's got some yellow underneath it. All right. Oh, I did it. I did it. My gosh. All right. Here we go. Torch. It's just my little tiny torch. You don't want to use something too big. You'll melt your mold. It'll all fuse together. A little bit of filter sticking through. All right. That's it. Now, I think I will just grab my heat gun and just give this a bit of a hand. Just to move a bit, just because I think I've left it... I left it a bit long. I left it a bit long. I did. Right, just my heat gun on low. So I'm going to push from the. I'm going to try and hold it like horizontal, like that, as much as I can. Go around all the way and push those petals in. Get them moving. Get that white activated and moving. You don't want to go straight down with your gun, your heat gun if you can. It's best to go on an angle and just kind of skim the surface. And just get that white moving. How's that looking? And go around again. The outside moves faster than the inside. It's got further to go. The middle probably won't move a lot because it's already in the middle so it doesn't have to move to the middle it's already there okay I think that's it I think that's it you don't want to do too much then because if then you know your white will um, sink your whites pretty heavy um, at the moment the resin is quite thick, so the white's skimming across the top. If your resin's really thin, the white just drops down and you get the blobs on the other side. So, there we go. Ooh, hope it's all right. 
hope it's all right. Don't like that bit there. Gee, I can feel the heat coming out of it. All right, that's me done. Um, I'm not going to turn it into a bowl. I'll unmold it later. If it works, I will... I don't know what's going on here. Maybe I heated that too much and it's changed the shape of my petal just there. Not sure what's going on there. I'll try and fix it. Okay. All right. Yeah, I don't know. Don't know. I've got a big gap there now. All right. Um, otherwise, I'll have to do it again and not let it get too hot. I can feel the heat coming out of that. Toasty. Yeah, I don't know about that. Maybe the heat. The heat's pushed it too much. Anyway, um, I will see you for the unmolding. Wish me luck. Okay, it's the next day and it has cured. So, I wonder what it's going to look like. I hope it's going to look all right. Gosh, this end's moved a little bit more. I've only got this much yellow left. Hopefully it's still on the other side. Hopefully. All right, let's get it out. Oh, look how easily that comes out, just slides out. I will link this gorgeous, huge mold for you down in the description if you would like one. Okay. Oh, got a little bit of transparency there. I can see through it. Oh, I'm nervous. All right. <clears throat> Are we ready? Here we go. Hope it's pretty. Here we go. Oh, wow. That is so pretty. Look at that, you guys. Now, you can see the difference. I haven't got my other mold with me at the moment, my other piece. Um, you can see the difference between, um, <clears throat> like, these sorts of alcohol inks that aren't as concentrated, highly concentrated, um, compared to the Let's Resin Highly Concentrated inks. So this is much more pastel. And I think I said to you that um, if you're using the inks that aren't so highly, <coughs> excuse me, concentrated, um, you, you don't get such a vibrant, bright look. But I got that in the previous one, and this one I didn't want that. I wanted it to be more toned down, more pastel, more sort of feminine and, and girly, and just just light and pretty and springy. Springy, <laughs> what do you think? Gosh, it's so pretty. Look, oh, I can get it in here. Look at those, look at those petals. They are just divine, aren't they? I'll have a slow pan through for you, okay? Now, if you wanted to, you could do um, a backing. You could put some black or some navy, maybe some green. Mm, what else? Maybe a, a burgundy, something dark, um, and it would set it off. But there's not a lot. There's really not a lot of space, like, you know, the edges here that you could see that dark color. But through the center, you're not really going to see a lot of your background color. I'll just see what it looks like. I've got a little bit of black. It's not going to be big enough to do all of this. I'll just grab it. Nope, it's in the other room with my other piece. <laughs> I was showing people the other night. I've got this little round one that I'll have to do. Okay, so we'll just pop it under here, under this sort of half here, so that you can see what it may look like. And then you can see the difference between having a background on it. So you can only really see this little this little dark edge here as opposed to a clear edge here that's the difference so I don't know I don't know if you'd want to do that so um, do I want to do handles do I want to do handles I've got these cute little handles it's a knife and fork how adorable and you can just pop them there if you did a, a top coat I don't know if I will, but it's so cute. Look at that. How adorable is that? <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I may, I may do a top coat. Not at the moment though. I've got to get orders out today. 
but um, I'll, I'll leave it here I'll have a think about if I want to do a top coat or not but if you definitely wanted to do a tray you know you would maybe do your back coat your topping before um, you unmold it and that way it's a little bit thicker as well because if you're going to be picking it up and moving it around it's probably best that it's a bit thicker um, resin may kind of bend a little bit you know if it gets hot or it's sitting out in the sun it can warp a little bit as well so with a big piece um, it's good to have it a bit thicker stop that warping and the, the backing or top coat can really help with that so there you go oh my gosh it's so pretty I love it oh you know what we should do you know what we should do we should go around the edge with silver to match the little handles shouldn't we I like to use the chrome marker if I'm doing silver because it's super shiny. Now, I don't know that you're going to really see see it all that well um, because it's clear. Um, and I'm just going to go around the top edge there. This particular nib, I'll show you the nib. If you put your edge of your mold sort of in the middle there, it, it holds onto it. And then it's easy to, to go around. It doesn't take very long to do. Oops. <laughs> if you make a mistake, you can wipe it off. So you just go around the top edge there. So it's half on the top, half on the side. Get my step out of the way so I can see what I'm doing. And that's basically all you do. So like I said, you probably can't really see it all that well at the moment because I haven't got a dark background. But it's just, it's there. It's a little glimmer of silver there. So I will do all of that. I won't do it now because I'm not going to turn it. But anyway, that's, that's what you do if you want to do an edging. So oh, these ring lights do my head in. Anyway, I'll take a nice photo of it for you. You can see the silver. I don't know if you can see the silver. It's really pretty. All right. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll finish that off. Um, and then if I decide to stick the handles on, I'll have to do a top coat of resin. I, I think it's the best way to do it. Uh, yeah, just to secure them in properly. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you like this tray as much as I do. I'll see you all again real soon for the next video. Take care. Bye for now.